percibimos y, y ambos. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have to start because we have only one hour mm -hmm. for this session. So let us give a, a, a floor to Yamen to try and, to, and give us what he prepared for us. You will welcome Yamen. I don't Thank know you. if you have to tell us a, a little bit about yourself because here we have we, we are with some people who don't know you very well. So it would okay. be better if you tell us just a little bit about yourself. Of course. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you for the invitation and thank you, everyone here. Uh, my name is Yemen. I'm from Tunisia, from uh, the, the, the north of Africa. Uh, I'm a financial expert working with a software editor in the banking sector. And I'm very happy to Sorry be about that. No, Sorry. no worries. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I joined the, the Wiki, Wikipedia in 2006, and since that, I'm uh became active on other projects like commons wikidata uh, i am the co-founder of wikimedia tunisia <clears throat> and the uh, wiki world heritage user group and the regional conference wiki arabia and i'm happy to be here with you today to to do a training on wikidata to see the potential of this project it's my favorite project so far <laughs> yeah. so let's uh let's see that and hope you will it will become your favorite project as well so um, I need to, to share my screen. Can you give me the possibility to, to, to share my screen? Yeah. Sure, I'm just setting that up real quick. Okay, you can try now. Okay, yes. Okay. Good. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yes. So during the session, don't hesitate to uh, to uh, to ask me questions, to uh, to stop me if there is something not clear, or uh, to paste your question in the chat. I will try to monitor that. <clears throat> and. Uh, Okay, uh, Clementine, let me know if there is uh, some French speaking members. So I don't know if uh, there is so far. I don't know if we, they are here, yes. But if it. S'il y a des participants français, uh, vous pouvez uh, uh, se présenter dans le chat comme ça, je peux savoir si je dois parler en français avec l'anglais. Sinon, uh, puisque c'est enregistré, donc, uh, it's, uh, um, since it's recorded, I can do try both and they can yeah. watch it later. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is my uh, presentation. So I already introduced myself. Okay. So let's start with Wikidata training. So what is Wikidata? So Wikidata, as you may know, is one of the projects uh, it's a sister project of Wikipedia and one of the projects um, uh, hosted by the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, so it's uh, it's part of uh, many other projects. And here it's uh, last year we celebrated the, 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 the 10th birthday of it. And uh, it's uh, so far one of uh, the the main project used by Wikimedia now. <clears throat> um, so Wikidata is uh, is a collaboratively. Uh, donc uh, Wikidata c'est un projet qui fait partie de l'écosystème Wikimedia. Parmi il fait partie de parmi les autres projets uh, hébergés par la Wikimedia Foundation. Donc c'est un projet uh, frère de Wikipédia. Uh, L'année dernière on a célébré le, le, le le dixième anniversaire et euh, il est maintenant l'un des projets phares de, de utilisé par le Wikimedia. Uh, Wikidata is a collaboratively uh, edited like Wikipedia. It's the same same logic, so it's uh, based on collaboration. 
and uh, it's a edited multilingual knowledge graph. So in the same logic, we everyone can contribute to it. It's uh, 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 the uh, open data uh, source of open data under the CC0 public uh, domain license. So this is the main difference between uh, this uh, project and uh, the other Wikimedia project like Wikipedia and Wikisource and Wikicommons. Here, the, all the data are under CC0 uh, public domain license. <clears throat> Donc, Wikidata, c'est uh, une, uh, une base collaborative qui se passe sur le même principe de Wikipédia que chacun peut, uh, en, tout le monde peut collaborer ensemble et chacun peut l'éditer. C'est une source de, de, de données uh, ouvertes et qui sont publiées sous la licence CC0 dans le domaine public. Déjà, c'est déjà c'est la une différence par rapport à Wikipédia ou aux autres projets Wikimédia, c'est que les, don les données sont dans le domaine public. Uh, since it's uh, start uh, launching the project, we have more than 100 million uh, items created in Wikidata, and this item, of course, everyone can edit. Depuis le lancement de Wikidata, actuellement, nous, en, nous, nous avons plus de 100 millions de, de, de données que chacun peut éditer. Right. Yeah, uh, in few in few words, what is Wikidata? Wikidata is of course it's first of all it's a database. It's crowdsourcing. It means everyone can uh, edit it. So by all like the, the, it's the the the, the logic the same logic for all the Wikimedia projects. Crowdsourcing. It's open of course. So it's a, a source of open data and public domain. All the data are interconnected. So it's contain so it's a database. Uh, of interconnected data. The data are structured, means that can be uh, uh, can be read by the computer, so they are computer readable because they are structured, and it's language independent. We'll see later what how this data doesn't how uh, this data doesn't depend on any language. Uh, Wikidata en quelques mots, c'est une base de données données crowdsourcée, donc tout le monde peut contribuer. Elle est ouverte, qui contient des données interconnectées et structuré qui permet la, 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 euh, donc euh, les, les, les machines donc euh, peuvent la lire peuvent lire ces données là et elle elle est elle est elle ne euh, dépend pas d'aucun d'aucun langage donc ça c'est une page this is a page of uh, uh, of an item on Wikidata this is a page of a university so here we have so we, we say that it doesn't uh, depends on the language because every item in Wikidata, it's, uh, it's represented by a Q number. So all everything is based on number. That's why what, this is what make Wikidata doesn't depend on any language. So this is, for example, a page for an item. Here we have the, the name. So here we have some descriptions. Here there's some statement. And here some links to Wikipedia articles, to the photo. We'll see later on, uh, on the Wikidata directly. So, so this is an example of a data on Wikidata. It's a page of an university. So, as we see here, in fact, each data has a number, a number, a Q number. And this makes, in fact, that Wikidata does not depend on any language because everything is represented by numbers and interconnected via numbers. So, here we have the title, the name, the number that identifies the data. Et ensuite, des, des, euh, des, des données, des spécifications de la donnée. Il s'agit de quoi Par exemple, cette université, c'est l'université publique. On a le, le logo, l'image. So, Wikidata structured and interconnected data. Structured data means that each data is represented, is described by three, uh, by, by three, by three different things. Uh, so we have the item, the property, and the value. So, so for example, the item here is the earth, has a Q number number two, key two. The, this earth has a property, instance of, and the value of this property is terrestrial planet. So the earth is an instance of a terrestrial planet. So this is how we, uh, it's a, the structure of the data. Same thing here, the, the general logic, for example, a dog is instance of animals, 
Cause is instance of animals. Cause eats herbs. Herbs is instance of plants. Plants is are living things. Same thing for animal. So here we have some structured data. Data are linked to each other and they are interconnected. So the difference between Wikipedia, for example, and Wikidata. Désolé, donc pour en français. Donc les données sur Wikidata sont des données structurées et interconnectées. Donc pour chaque donnée, on, on a donc la, la, la donnée, donc le item, la propre, une propriété et la valeur. Par exemple, pour la donnée, euh, la planète euh, Terre, donc la planète Terre, elle a une propriété qui est euh, instance of, ça c'est la propriété, et planète euh, terrestre. Donc comme ça, on a la, 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 la donnée, la, 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 la propriété et la valeur. Et la, de la même logique, en fait, on a les données, comme ça, ils sont interconnectés. Par exemple, le chien, c'est un animal. L'animal, c'est des, des, des euh, entités vivantes. Euh, les, les vaches aussi sont des animaux. Les, 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 les vaches mangent de l'herbe. L'herbe, c'est des plantes. Les plantes, c'est des, des entités vivantes. Comme ça, on a des objets interconnectés et euh, structurés. So the difference, for example, between Wikidata and Wikipedia. On Wikipedia, of course, as you know, we can have sentences. Like, for example, this is the presentation of uh, an old town in, in Libya. The old town of Gademis is the old city in the modern city of uh, Gademis in Libya and one of the Libya major desert cities called the Jewel of the Desert, registered as UNESCO heritage. If you go to Wikidata, so we won't have this phrase, this sentence, but we'll have data structured and interconnected data. So old town of Gadems is an instance of old town. It's part of Gadems, the new city. It's or alias or also now in as jewel of the desert. It's in the country Libya. Heritage designation, UNESCO World Heritage. So as you can see here, we are defining the old town of Gadems based on data. Not textual based, text based, but uh, data based. So here, uh, we'll see later how, why uh, this is very important because what, when we use this data, uh, when we use Wikidata, we can have language independent, structural, factual statement, and better search possibilities. Donc, uh, les données sur Wikidata, donc on a dit qu'ils sont structurés et interconnectés. Par exemple, à la, au contraire de Wikipédia, si on veut définir, par exemple, le, le, La, la, vieille, la vieille ville de Gadames en, en, en Libye, en, sur Wikipédia, ça sera une phrase. Donc, euh, la vieille ville, donc, ça, elle, elle se trouve dans, dans Gadames, en Libye. Elle est euh, listée comme patrimoine mondial, mais sous forme d'une phrase tec tec textuelle. Mais sur Wikidata, ça sera des données. Donc, euh, est, elle est, est une vieille ville. Elle fait partie de Gadames. Elle est dans euh, le, le, le pays, le pays c'est la Libye. Elle, elle est connue aussi sous le nom de la perle du désert. Elle est listée comme UNESCO World Heritage. So, so the main thing on Wikidata, we have Q, item, the, Q uh, the item, referred by a Q number. The Q, the number, uh, the item, the item which is represented by the Q letter, letter Q and then number, have a property. And the property will have another Q number, another item. This is called a statement. So item property value. We'll see that in Wikidata so you can understand better. So, donc, uh, comment les données sont, sont représentées sur Wikidata? Donc, on a les, les données représentées par un Q, Q number. Le, le nombre Q, en fait, il a, un, il a une propriété P et la propriété P, elle est aussi représentée par, un autre, par une autre donnée avec un, un nombre Q. Donc, on, a, on aura un statement, donc euh, la, la donnée, l'item avec euh, euh, Q number, property P number, and then another, another property value. So, for example, here, this is a standard uh, item on Wikidata for a person, Douglas Adams. So, Q42 is the item identifier, is the Q number of Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams is a label. Then we have a description and aliases, also known as. 
So, but the main identifier of Douglas Adams is Q42. So if we go to Wikidata and open Q42, we'll find Douglas Adams. And then we have a statement. Uh, educated is a property. St. John Collins is a value. But St. John Collins also, if, if we open on it, click on it, it will be another page for St. John Collins, which is also a value, uh, a Q number, an item. So here we can have also qualifier for the value. And the reference, we can also add reference like in the same logic as Wikipedia to, uh, to make sure that uh, the, date, the information here are correct. Here, this is another value. And we can also have more than one statement, of course. So just remember the queue number, which is the item identifier, the label, description, property, value and the qualifier for a value and the reference. So this is the main component of uh, an item on Wikidata. So the les, les principal component of a data on Wikidata, so we're going to take this example of a person, Douglas Adams. So first of all, we have the identifier. So we have what we call the number Q42. Donc ça, c'est un identifiant unique pour, pour cette personne. Donc chaque euh, Q number, c'est un identifiant unique sur Wikidata. Ensuite, le nom, en fait, on l'appelle label. On peut ajouter des descriptions en plusieurs langues. Ensuite, on doit définir cette, cette personne-là. Donc on va ajouter des propriétés, des propriétés. Property. Donc il a étudié à, ici, la valeur. Et cette valeur-là, elle peut avoir des qualifiers. Donc, start, start day, euh, donc start time and time, date de début, date de fin. Et on peut ajouter aussi des références pour corroborer euh, nos, nos informations et s'assurer qu'elles qu sont exactes. Donc, on peut avoir plusieurs valeurs pour, le même, pour la même propriété, parce qu'on peut étudier, donc, par exemple, dans plusieurs universités, comme on peut avoir plusieurs propriétés aussi. Quelques exemples en fait d'éléments sur Wikidata. Donc l'univers. L'univers, il est. Le, on a vu que la planète, la planète Terre, euh, la planète Terre, c'était Q, Q2. Donc l'univers, c'est Q1. Par exemple, là, le, le pays Rwanda, c'est Q1037. Le projet Wiki Africa, ça, c'est l'identifiant du projet Wiki Africa, Wiki Africa sur Wikidata. Et ça, P31, c'est une propriété. C'est instance of, c'est-à-dire euh, c'est pour définir quelque chose. Some example on Wikidata. Uh, some example on uh, of uh, items on Wikidata. We, the universe is Q1. We saw that uh, the planet Earth is Q2. Uh, the, the, the country Rwanda is Q1037. The project Wiki Africa, we have this number. And uh, uh, in order to define, for example, one of these, we use the property P31, which is maybe the most famous property, to define what is this uh, the item. Uh, we'll see here some example how to define uh, how we, we move from text-based to, to number-based and to understand why Wikidata is, uh, is independent from any language. So for example here, the Earth has the highest point, Mount Everest. Mount Everest has an elevation about 8,000 meters. The Earth, the deepest point is Challenger Deep. Challenger Deep has elevation above the sea level, minus 10,000 uh, 900 meters around. So this is text. If we'd like to translate this into Wikidata, the Earth is Q2. Highest point is property P610. Mount Everest is key Q513. So here, Mount Everest Q513 has elevation. This is property. And this is the value. Again, plant Earth, deepest point. This is property. And this is the value, Challenger Deep. So then if we remove the, the, the text, we'll have this, we see here number. So it doesn't depend on any language. So any computer can read this. 
and uh, it's easy to, to do the, the mapping between these numbers and the, the labels in any language later. So this is what makes Wikidata uh, language uh, independent or language agnostic. So it doesn't depend on any language. It's based on number only. On va prendre un exemple en fait pour voir comment Wikidata en fait on peut euh, euh, partir de, du texte vers des nombres et comprendre pourquoi Wikidata il est indépendant des, 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 des langues. Donc si on prend ces exemples là la planète Earth par exemple euh, la planète la planète Terre voilà un euh, le plus haut point c'est le Mont Everest. Donc on va prendre cette phrase là par exemple juste euh, cette phrase là. Donc, on va remplacer donc, chaque, chaque mot par les, son identifiant sur Wikidata. Donc, la planète Earth, la Terre, c'est Q2. Le, le plus haut point culminant, c'est la propriété 610. Et le Mont Everest, c'est Q513. Après, si on enlève les textes, donc on aura cette, ces, ces trois nombres. Q2, P610, Q513. Donc, ça, ça, c'est seulement des nombres, aucun texte. Donc, Wikidata, donc, euh, euh, elle se base seulement sur ces nombres-là. Et les ordinateurs, donc les machines peuvent lire ça, donc indépendamment de chaque, de, de, du langage. Et après, ça sera très facile de mapper ces nombres-là vers des, les langues euh, disponibles. So, pourquoi, why numbers? Numbers is language neutral. Not everybody speaks English. It's robot friendly. So, robots love numbers. And labels can be ambiguous. For example, what is London? If we, what is London? London can be a city in England, can also be a city in Canada, can be a family name. But if we replace London by a unique number, so then we know that this number means that London the city in England, or this number means the city in Canada. Donc, euh, en fait, pourquoi en fait on utilise des nombres sur Wikidata? Non, parce que le, en fait, les nombres. Donc, euh, nous permet d'avoir un projet euh, indépendant de, 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 de n'importe quelle langue, la, quelle langue. Puisque tout le monde ne, ne parle pas anglais. Donc, comme ça, les nombres. Donc, on, on peut faire après le mapping vers, depuis les nombres vers les, les langues euh, locales. Les, lo, les, les robots, les machines, donc, aiment les nombres. Et ça permet d'éviter des ambiguïtés. Par exemple, là, si on, on dit London, on ne sait pas London si c'est. C'est la, la cité en Angleterre, ou bien la cité en, en, au Canada, ou bien c'est un, un, un nom de famille. Mais si on remplace London par un, un nombre, un nombre spécifique, par exemple, euh, donc euh, Q112, par exemple, donc on sait que ce nombre-là fait référence à la cité en Angleterre. Ferme la porte. Ou bien Q200, il fait référence à la cité en, en Canada. Uh, so, uh, a handful use of Wikidata. So, Wikidata allows us to describe data with a flexible level of details and abstraction. It centralizes the data in one database and avoid duplication of effort. Avoid multiple copies falling out of synchronization. So, for example, this is very useful for Wikipedia. For example, So we can have Wikipedia page for uh, for for someone very for a known personality. So we have this Wikipedia page in English, in French, in Arabic, in many languages. Let's say in 300 Wikipedia page. So in this Wikipedia page, for example, we have when the, this person has been uh, the, the birth date and the the, the birth date, for example. Image uh, that uh, this person uh, died. So we have to update all the Wikipedia pages for to, to add the, 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 uh, the death date in the info box mainly. But if the info box, for example, is, uh, is based on Wikidata, we need just to update the death, the, the death date on Wikidata, and then all the Wikipedia page will, will take the information from there. And it will, they will be automatically updated. Uh, since it's connected to the base, so it allows also to connect this bright ID, align data set to, we can, we can connect Wikidata to another database, external database and uh, do a reconciliation. Uh, serve as discovery platform for data, we can do generate data visualization and uh, explore the data in another way. Uh, 
massively multilingual aligned vocabularies. So here we can have for the item we can we add a label or a description of uh, of this uh, item on Wikidata in different language. So we have only one item identified by a Q number, but we can describe it in many languages. And this is, for example, one of the use of Wikidata. We can generate an automatically automatically generate a dictionary. For example, because we have, for example, an item is already defined in many languages. So we can extract these labels and this description, and then we have a dictionary of uh, how the labels are, are named in different languages. And uh, finally, we can query the data uh, and see uh, other uh, and explore it. So that utilization of Wikidata, donc elle permet en fait de, de, de décrire uh, d'une façon flexible et avec plus de détails et d'abstraction les données. Elle permet de centraliser, centraliser les données dans une gigantesque base de données et, et éviter le, le, la duplication d'efforts. Elle permet d'éviter aussi d'avoir plusieurs copies euh, euh, asynchrones euh, avec des, des, des valeurs différentes. Elle permet de reconcilier d'autres bases de données. Donc, on peut reconcilier avec donc, Wikidata avec une autre base de données et aligner les datasets ensemble. Alors, elle permet de découvrir, découvrir les données en générant des data visualization et euh, donc euh, avoir donc plusieurs multi donc euh, des vocabulaires en plusieurs langues pour le même item et et à la fin donc euh, possibilité de, de de générer des requêtes pour pour visualiser les données pour voir les données euh, donc avant de passer euh, comment Comment consulter les données, euh, comment faire les requêtes en fait pour visualiser les données. On va ouvrir Wikidata pour voir euh, pour voir comment en fait comment ça, ça fonctionne. En fait donc il faut donc ça c'est Wikidata donc Wikidata. Ici on peut choisir la langue. Donc actuellement ici on a 102 millions de, de items en Wikidata. Donc on peut voir donc, uh, comment get, how to get involved, learn about Wikidata. On trouve, uh, we can find a lot of links, useful links here. Some news about the project. To discover uh, some the wiki project. The login is done on the same way as wiki, using the same login as Wikipedia, on like any other wiki project. Donc, on peut changer. Donc, là, c'est la liste des langues disponibles. Donc, on voit donc c'est disponible en, dans, dans plusieurs langues. Donc, c'est pas comme Wikipédia. Uh, it's not like Wikipédia. So, Wikipédia, we have Wikipédia in English, Wikipédia in French, Wikipédia in Spanish. Here, we have only one Wikidata. There's only one project, Wikidata. And then, inside Wikidata, we can switch the languages. So here we can consult the data. For example, if I would like to consult the, for example, this uh, this for this person, for example, Guillermo Fernandez. So soon, this is this is the Q number for uh, this person. This is the unique identifier. So if I copy this number and I go here to search Wikidata, automatically Wikidata will will pro, will provide this page because this is the unique identifier of this person. Here, this is the label of this person. And then we have a description. So he is a Swiss climate activist. Here, you, we can see that there is no label in, in Arabic and no description. Okay, there is in Spanish, in French. So we can see here all entered language. Then we can see some definitions. So he, instance of, this is, this is the property. So if we click here, instance of, this is the property P31. So this person, instance of human, he is a human. Uh, this is another property, P21. P21, sex or gender. He's a male. Country of citizenship, this is another property, P27. He's from Switzerland. Switzerland is another Q number, Q39. This is the page of Switzerland. 
This is the unique identifier of uh, Switzerland. Then we have family name, occupation, uh, participant in hunger strike, talk show guest, endorsed by for them. If he has a Wikipedia page, we can also link Wikipedia page here. Or uh, if there is a wiki uh, a photo on commons, we can add the photo. We can add statement. Uh, for example, photo, image. And here we put the link from comments. So the photo will be added here. If this is an existing item on Wikidata, but we can also create new item here. So you have to click on create new item, choose the language, the labels, the description. So let me find something to create on Wikidata. Um, Just one second, I will search for something. Okay, so I just want this link. Let's see if this climate activist, then African climate activist, they are on Wikidata. So this is then African youth activist changing the face of the planet. So the first one, Yero Sar from Senegal. Let's see if he's on Wikidata. So we can go to Wikidata, try to search for it, and see if it exists. Activist Senegalese, so uh, yes, activist from Senegal. Okay, so here doesn't say that it's climate activist. Say activist, but we can we can uh, improve this. Let's see another person that doesn't have. So we'll see how to create a new uh, new item and how to edit an existing one. From South Africa. She has a wiki, wiki data item. From Tunisia. Okay, so this one doesn't have a wiki, wiki data item. Climate negotiator will be presenting. Okay, so to create a new item on Wikidata, click here, create new item. So in I will do it in English, the label, his name, description, climate activist from Tunisia. And then click on create. So when we click on create, Wikidata will give uh, a new number for this person, for this new item. This is, will be the identifier of this person on Wikidata. Okay, so now we create this item, but as you can see, it's an empty page. So we need to improve it. We need to define this person. So first of all, I can uh, improve the, the labels in uh, another language. Donc, uh, activist. Okay, then I need to add some statement. So who is, what is this number or this person? So first of all, instance of, the first thing, instance of human, this is a human. See, this is the first thing that we need to do for a person, instance of a human. Then we can add another statement, sex or gender, he is male. 
so we are we are we are what we are doing is to identifying defining this uh, this new item or this person so uh, occupation climate activist we can add a reference here uh, at this link so so people can see that we are not inventing something from uh, from our so this is the qualifier retrieved and this is the URL. So not reference URL. So this is the link. Look, on a, we we defined this person as climate activist, and this is the reference that we added. So we can add another occupation, country of citizenship is from Tunisia. So here we are we are selecting some value in it's some text here, but behind every text there is a number. So here, for example, when I clicked on Tunisia, if you if you see here, this is the Q number of Tunisia. This is all the properties. So this is P27, this is P106, this is P21. Climate activist, this is a there is a queue number for it. So everything we, we see text, but behind it there is there is numbers. This is what makes Wikidata uh, independent from the la uh, any language and can be read by, by robots and comp by other machines. Let's see if we have other things that we can. So given name, for example, he has we can <laughs> male given name. So let's see if family name is uh, is on Wikidata. So family name. So here there is no family name, which means that we need to create this family name also. So we can do it later. So let's see another statement instead of family name. Uh, date of birth, place of birth. We don't. Let's see if we have an information here. So we don't know a lot about it. She has Twitter account. So we can. Twitter username. Okay, so here we defined, we created new item and we added a mini statement to define this person. Who assigned the numbers? There is a question, who assigned the numbers and properties? So the numbers are automatically generated by Wikidata. You see when we created, when we created the new items for this person, a number was automatically generated by Wikidata. Uh, then the properties, the properties are defined by the community. So the community, they agreed that we need a property called instance of, and we give it the, the number P31. So if we need to create new uh, properties, we agree on it. The community will agree on these new properties and new number will be assigned to this, uh, these properties. So numbers are automatically created when we create new items. So of course, in the beginning, I mean, the community chooses, for example, to create the universe, the number one, Earth number two, and then, and then they start creating new item. Once they create a new item, another number will be uh, will be generated. For the property, the the community behind Wikidata uh, defined what are the property needed, and numbers will be assigned to these properties. Thank you, Sislav. Okay, so. Any question about how to create new items? This is one question in the chat box on the real one. Someone yeah. wants uh, who is the sum of numbers and properties. Yeah, I just replied to it now. I, I, I already replied to this question. 
So uh, I'm, I'm going to start the, the process again, but in French. Uh, on va voir en français. Uh, on va voir en français comment créer un, un nouveau élément sur Wikidata. Donc on va voir si ces activistes, ils ont des, des pages sur Wikidata, des éléments sur Wikidata. Les mises à Higa. OK. So cet activiste de la RDC n'a pas, il n'est pas défini sur Wikidata. Donc on va le définir. Donc, euh, pour créer un nouveau élément sur Wikidata, il faut cliquer sur « Create new item ». Donc, ici, on va choisir en français. Donc, euh, en fait, je vais modifier l'interface pour que ce soit en français. Donc, vous voyez, juste en, en choisissant français, toute l'interface a été traduite en français. Donc, on va créer un, nouveau, un nouvel élément. Donc, euh, le libellé, en fait, c'est le label. C'est Rémi Zahiga, c'est le nom de la personne activiste. Donc, puisque le, le sujet, en fait, de, de, du projet, c'est Africa Environment, donc on va euh, mettre un peu de lumière sur les activistes euh, environnementaux. Description, donc activiste. Activiste de la RDC. OK, on va créer le nouvel élément. Donc, euh, en cliquant sur Créer, donc Wikidata va générer un nouveau nombre pour cette personne-là. Donc, ça, c'est l'identifiant unique de Rémi Zahiga sur Wikidata. Donc, on peut, donc, on l'a créé en français, mais on peut modifier ça et ajouter, par exemple, euh, description en anglais, euh, Climate Activist. Donc, Ici. OK. Après, on, on doit ajouter des déclarations. C'est les statements en anglais. Donc, pour ajouter les déclarations, on clique sur ajouter une déclaration. Donc, la première chose, c'est euh, instance of, nature de l'élément. C'est quoi, quoi cet élément? C'est quoi cet élément? C'est un être humain. Vous voyez, c'est très facile, en fait, de sélectionner. Donc, chaque Derrière chaque test, en fait, il y a un, un numéro. Par exemple, la nature de l'élément, c'est la propriété property 31, P31. Être humain, c'est le Q5. Donc, c'est l'un des premiers nombres qui a été créé sur Wikidata. On va ajouter d'autres déclarations. Donc, sexe ou genre. Donc, c'est un masculin. On va ajouter une autre déclaration. Euh, L'occupation, c'est... Euh, Climate Activist. Militant climatique. On va mettre ça dans la description ici. Donc, c'est mieux. Activiste. Militant climatique de la RDC. Donc, on a ajouté la nature de l'élément, euh, le genre, l'occupation. On va ajouter une autre déclaration. Donc, ici, on peut ajouter aussi la référence pour. pour donc, puisque c'est un projet collaboratif, donc il faut aussi parfois montrer qu'on n'est qu pas en train de dire n'importe quoi. Donc, je vais ajouter une référence. Donc, euh, c'est donc les référents. Donc, l'URL de la référence. Donc, on va mettre ce site-là. Et on va publier. Donc, on va ajouter d'autres déclarations. Par exemple, euh, euh, pays, de, pays de sécurité. Donc, le pays, c'est euh, République, République démocratique du Congo. Comme ça, on a ajouté, donc on a créé un nouvel élément et on a ajouté plusieurs déclarations. On va voir après, en fait, ces déclarations, donc, ça peut être la base pour, pour, pour savoir quel article sur Wikipédia a créé. Donc, cet activiste n'a pas de, de, de page sur Wikipédia. Donc, dans le futur, on peut utiliser Wikidata pour, pour savoir qu'ils lui font une page, par exemple. So, I'm going to switch in English. 
quickly. Uh, we saw the how to create new element, new item. To update, it's very easy. So it's you have always the edit. So for example, if there is a mistake here, we can edit and change the value. We can create one cancel. So here on the same way as Wikipedia, we have you have also the history of the modification. So you can see here my the so here I created the new item, I added the English label, added the English description, created the claim, instance of this is the, the uh, statement. I changed the claim. Et vous pouvez suivre celui-là. Donc on a en cliquant cette étoile là pour l'avoir dans votre watch list. Uh, so you can you can watch it if there is a modification done to this item. Okay, so so now we created we added new data on Wikipedia on Wikidata. Sorry. So how we can use this this data? I mean, it's always good to have the data, but it's better to know how to use it. So in this uh, for this purpose, we have we we can query Wikidata. So. Let's see what is querying Wikidata. So we can use there is a language called Sparkle that we can we can use in order to query Wikidata to retrieve the data. So using this this language, so Wikidata will tell us what what Wikidata knows. Uh, of course, and more data than we we have and more links in Wikidata, the more useful and more uh, the result will be better when we query Wikidata. So we, are, we have this service, the Wikidata query service. It uses the Sparkle query language. This is will, will be executed on Wikibeta because Wikidata is a database. And Wikidata will retrieve, will, will reply by, uh, by displaying the result the table in a map in many formats. So Wikidata is a knowledge database. So it contains a million of statements. So, but, so I mean, there is, we saw that there is one, more than 100 million uh, element on Wikidata. So in order to know what are these elements, for example, if I would like to know uh, climate activists, who are the climate activists on Wikidata, uh, I cannot know directly. So I need to use the query service to query Wikidata and have this list. So that's why we, we can use this, this language, Spark. So, uh, so Wikidata query service, we can use the Sparkle query and have the result. We, we can see how to do it. So this is the Wikidata query service. This is the URL, query Wikidata. Uh, it's, uh, we, we can see how it's, uh, so basically it's, uh, it's like uh, the database language. You, you have to select information and then add condition condition to, uh, to choose what to display and how to display it. Uh, so basically there is a select where and then additional block. So I need to select this, I need to select, for example, a climate activist where, for example, male or female, and we can additional block to display. I would like to display photos or uh, other information. So this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like on the query service. Let's see directly, maybe it's better. So the query service, how to open the query service. Here on the on the left of Wikidata, we have the link here, query service. You can click on the query service. You have this interface. So I recommend to use the query helper here. You have this eye. You can click on it, you have the query helper. So it's very easy. Instead of writing the Sparkle query directly, you can use the query helper to, to write the, 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 the query. So first of all, let's see, for example, the climate activist, the list of uh, that are defined in Wikidata. So here I will write climate activist. So I'm asking Wikidata to bring me the list of people where the occupation is climate activist. As you can see here, there is no, uh, we, so we, we say that Wikidata doesn't depend on language. That's why here we have everything in number. So this is just, we can, this is, I mean, just uh, parameters that we can change the name, but this is an occupation, it's uh, translated to P106, and this is climate activist. So this is what we uh, we ask it. We would like to have 
the, the list of climate activists, the label in English. So here we have the list. There is how many? There is a limit here. We can remove the limit. We can execute. So there is 328 climate activists defined on Wikidata as climate activists. We have here the Q number. We can, so by default, Wikidata will display it as a table, but we can uh, ask Wikidata, for example, to show the, the, the image. So here we can see the, the if they have, which one they have photos and which one that they don't have. For the one that you have photo, we can change here. The instead of table, we can have image grid. So, so here this is the list of climate activists. So, for example, uh, I would like to see the climate activist uh, uh, women, for example, here. Uh, gender, woman, uh, not depicts, sorry. I think it's female instead of female. Sex or gender, female. So he, among the 328, there is 169 uh, women activists, climate activists, and this is their photos. Uh, not this one. Image grid. If we go back to a table, we can see here, for example, all these activists, they don't have a photo. So this is, can be a motivation for Wikimedian to take to 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 try to to have photos of these activists and add them to Wikidata to comments, and of course they will be added to Wikidata and they can be used for Wikipedia later. For example, I can remove this. Uh, let's say if there is uh, from Tunisia, if there is climate activists from Tunisia, country Tunisia. So currently there is no, I mean, it takes sometimes a few minutes to, to take into account uh, data. Let's replace Tunisia by South Africa. No, not country, maybe uh, country of citizenship. Country of citizenship, because you use this one. So here we have the climate activist with the citizenship from South Africa. Only one they have has a photo on comments. Let me check Tunisia again. So there is only three, and one of them, the one that we added recently. This is the one that we created a few minutes ago. So you see here, this query service can have, uh, can we can use it to have a lot of information, to extract a lot of information from Wikidata. We can see who are uh, from the list of Wiki climate activists, uh, who has a Wikipedia page and who doesn't, hasn't. Uh, for example, let's, uh, let's see how to do that. So there is a very useful tip, I mean, to uh, to do, to write query is to explore existing query and to copy copy them and change a few things in it. For example, here, is, this is a query that display uh, a woman from Nigeria in green. They have a Wikipedia page in red without Wikipedia page. So uh, we are going to check the query that we did for this to have this one. Okay. And so instance of here, we can
Let's take this part. And go back here. Let's see if it's going to work. But I would like to see who have who of these climate activists they have a Wikipedia page. Uh, article here. Okay. Well, article in the beginning. And climate activists. On English Wikipedia, let's see. So here we have the Wikipedia articles and let's see if there is people without Wikipedia articles. You see here, these activists are without Wikipedia articles. So if we add the, we ask Wiki, Wikidata to show the place of birth, for example. Place of birth. We can ask, we can, Ask Wikidata to display the, the, the result on, um, on you know, we are going to add this one. Place of birth. So we can here generate the list of uh, this one. So for example, we can export this table in uh, export this table and have the list of uh, activists without the Wikipedia page. So here we have all this list. All, I mean, these people, they are climate activists. They don't have a Wikipedia page. The other ones they have on, Wiki, on Wikipedia English. So if we ch change the language here to French. Here we will have the list of Wikipedia article on French Wikipedia. And here, these activists, they don't have a Wikipedia article. So this is can be, uh, we can use this query to generate a list of uh, article to be created of climate activists on Wikipedia. Um, on the query, as I said, one of the best tips to generate the right query, you can use the examples here. There is many examples. You can, you can go through them and try to generate, to, to adapt this query to your needs. You can filter, you can here, you can filter, for example, Wikipedia. Uh, names, Wiki, Wikidata items of Wikipedia articles, country they have site. So there is many examples, so you can check them. Let's see climate. So there is many example about cats, cats with pictures. So you see we have here instance of house cats and show the, the photos. So these examples, of course, you can you can be inspired for them, but they can be very useful sometimes. 
So I also recommend to use also always the query helper to, to generate the query. So you can add filters and you can ask to, to show. Uh, we can do a lot of things. You can also, by, def by default, it's a table, but you can change to, uh, to have photo gallery. You can have a map. You can have a, a graph. So for example, here, this query, uh, this is a hospital in the world. This is the map of the hospital in the world. For example, how to do this? It's very easy. We go here to the query helper, uh, the query helper, yes. We click here. So I would like to see hospital. Hospitals. Instance of hospital. And I would like to see a coordinate location where, where the, the location of these hospitals. I will remove the one the limit here. By default, it's 100, but we can remove it. And then I can ask Wikidata. So there is 29,000 hospitals in the world. We can ask Wikidata to display it on a map. So here the the, the hospitals in the world. So you can you can do it, for example, check in your countries if there is a hospital. So you can add a filter, for example, here Rwanda, and see the list of hospitals in Rwanda. So currently on Wikidata, there is only nine hospitals in Rwanda. And here we can see the, the on the map. So mainly in Kigali, I think they are concentrated. Yes, near Kigali. So here you have the name. When you click on the button, you have the name of the hospital. You can change the country to, for example, let's say Tunisia. There's 38 hospital. And here, the map of this hospital, the constant also in the capital. So you can do the same thing, the list of hospital in Africa in, uh, or any country. We can do this for hospitals, for museum, for uh, galleries, for archives. So for uh, many buildings. Uh, for example, there is some tools based on Wikidata, for example, WikiShootMe. So this is, is used on use Wikidata to, uh, to show, display the list of items that doesn't have a photo on commons. Uh, this is uh, the museums in Africa. And in green, they have Wikipedia article, uh, in red without Wikipedia article. So this is, has been done using uh, Wikid Wikidata. I think you can access, you can see this data when you go to makunbuchu.wiki. So this is a website that I did like two years ago so, uh, about the museums in Africa. So here you can, you can see the query here. You can edit Sparkle. So you can see the query, you can adapt it. For example, here it's museum, but you can replace museum by hospital, by galleries, by school, by university, by any kind of uh, building. So here, as you can see, this is uh, the museums. In This is on English Wikipedia. Uh, this is, they have Wikipedia article. You see here, this is the Wikipedia article. If you click on, on a red one, there is no Wikipedia article. We can see the photo of the museum. So this is a, this map can show us what the work that we have to do. I mean, there is a lot of things to do, especially in Africa, to document uh, the museums and, and many things to document in Africa. People, buildings, uh, to add them on Wikidata. So uh, let me paste the the URL here so you can. So you can check the query. To check the query, you just you have to go to, click, to put the mouse on the map and click on Edit Sparkle. It will show the query behind this map. Uh, for this web, for this uh, new women in Nigeria, for example, also the same thing. We, this is a website that we did uh, as part of program um, uh, Mentor Africa program.
And of course, this, I mean, as you can see, we can explore, exp, uh, export the data from uh, Wikidata and host it in a website. So I will so show you, for example, what we did in uh, our user group Wiki World Heritage. This is uh, our website. I mean, we do a lot of uh, things about Wikidata. We have several projects, like, for example, the, this one, Told Cities. It's about cities that are listed as World Heritage. So here, so we have here the map, for example, of these cities around the world listed as world by the UNESCO as World Heritage. Of course, this is generated from Wikidata. I can choose a city, for example, to see what are the city in uh, listed in, a, in for a given. Uh, uh, I mean, I can see the details of city, for example, the Medina of Tunis in Tunisia. If I, I select it from here, I, will, I can have another map from Wikidata. And you can see here the list of buildings, uh, the monuments inside the city. I can also have a timeline, for example, timeline of uh, Medina of Tunis, for example. So in the timeline, I can see the history of the city. This is also generated by Wiki by Wikidata. So you can see the query here, Edit Sparkle. You can see here, this is the query. I mean, here, the default, we asked Wikidata to display this as a timeline. So let me do this. We can go to back to Wikidata. Query service. We put the query here. So by default, it's a table, but all the way here, we can have other format like timeline. So here we can have the history of the city. For example, this is a building built in 1837. This is 1896. This is 1927. So we can have the history of the buildings. So this is timeline. Also, we can have a graph, for example, the people of uh, for a given city, for example, I choose the uh, the capital of Algeria, I can have the people who have, I mean, a link with this uh, city, with this old city listed as UNESCO. So I can, of course, make it bigger here too. So here, for example, this is, I mean, this is all people, they are linked to this city. So we are telling a story about the city. This is why this, the project is called Told, Told Cities. We are telling us uh, we are telling a story about the cities. Uh, people of the, we can have also some statistic using Wikidata, for example. This is also are generated automatically by Wikidata. The 20th largest World Heritage sites around the world by size. So, so you can do a lot of things with Wikidata. I mean, step by step, try to to create new item. Try to modify a new item and to uh, to improve them with the new data, and then you can try the query service to generate uh, a simple query, then adapt old old query. So here, I can put the link here. Also, you can check the query there and try to to be inspired by them. I mean, uh, for example, here, women from Nigeria without Wikipedia articles. So this is, can be for Wiki women in red uh, to, to have the list of women for, that needs Wikipedia articles. To have, uh, 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 we can generate this list automatically. We don't have to, 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 to do it manually. It can be done automatically. Uh, we can have also by filters, for example, here, world heritage sites around the world, but based on the category. So you can see here different colors. For example, the blue means another colors. I think we can have this. We can see this on our uh, website as well. Uh, World Heritage Sites. See here different colors. If we click here, you see, for example, uh, different layers. So for example, I can, I can select only ethnic, uh, for example, human uh, creative genius uh, list. Okay, so this is one type of uh, heritage sites. Traditional human settlement, for example, let's say traditional human settlements. See here, I can do some filters. Another project, uh, 
uh, has been created by the, the, the founders of Wiki World Heritage Nessie Mashahbun called Wiki, uh, Wiki Ksur, Ksur.wiki. So this is about the old, uh, old fortification in North Africa. And also here, also you can filter, for example, by if the, 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 the fortification has been built by mud or by stone or by wood. So for example, you can filter like that. So all of this is from Wikidata and then export it because from Wiki, when, when we do this, you can export here the code. You can have HTML code, for example, or any other code and put this in a website. So it's very really easy to do this. So you can have a website with content from Wikidata. And whenever a new fortification is added here, it will be displayed automatically on the website. So this is some also the statistic from Wikidata, data visualization, uh, here climate activist, uh, this is photo gallery, uh, graph, timeline, and of course, there is a lot of things, amazing things built on top of Wikidata, like this project, Protos, display, uh, uh, painting, sculpture. Uh, so whenever you select something here, it will generate, it will execute a query, and the query will execute the photos from Wikidata. So I would like to see the painting, or I would like to see the sculpture. Historopedia, this is also a very useful, very amazing tool to display a timeline for, uh, for a history uh, using uh, Wikidata as well by using queries that are executed on Wikidata. This is another project, Open Art Browser, also based on Wikidata. You can also have a uh, uh, genealogy tree, for example. All this is extracted from Wikidata. You select a person and this site using Wikidata will, gener will generate this. Uh, of course, there is some kind of web design built on the top of it, but the data are from extracted are from Wikidata. Uh, you can go to this link also to uh, to tool to to find other other projects. Let me list this tool. Now. Okay, so this link you can find a lot of uh, visualization, a lot of projects that do visualization using Wikidata. So. Uh, so as you can see, I mean, we can do a lot of things with Wikidata. Uh, if we open a Wikipedia page, for example, for, uh, for uh, this is Mizi uh, in Tunisia. So um, it's on Wikipedia. So you can see here, for example, this is in French, but I think English Wikipedia is not using it yet. You see, this is the info box is generated from Wikidata. So here, for example, the address, the coordinate, uh, coordinate location. Uh, many other information like uh, the name, uh, date of uh, uh, opening date, they are all from Wikidata. So, and when we change them in Wikidata, they are replicated on Wikipedia. So here you can change this on Wikidata directly. From Wikipedia, you can also navigate to Wikidata. So you have here the link. Um, You need to connect. So, um, right. let me check it in English. So here we have Wikidata items. So here you can navigate from Wikipedia to the Wikidata item of this museum. And you can see here also Wikidata. Here we have the Wikipedia articles. 
the list of Wikipedia articles. So this is how the all the Wikipedia articles are linked to this page on Wikidata. So everything is centralized here on Wikidata and all the Wikipedia page linked to this one. So <clears throat> just to summarize what we, we saw and what I recommend to do, uh, log into Wikidata using your uh, Wikimedia uh, uh, username and password. Try to, to see some items related to your country to your I mean, subject uh, of interest, like climate uh, change, climate uh, change, for example. Try to create new items. For example, you can continue to check this list to see if there is other missing activities to be added. I will add this, uh, this thing here. Try to create item for missing, uh, missing uh, data. Uh, after creating manually the items, you can try to also improve existing art, the existing items, adding more information. So whenever when we add more information, when the we the, the, the quality of the data is improved and can be used better. And then try to open the query service and try to execute some query to, to check the data, the list of, for example, climate activists from your country, if they have Wikipedia article or not, if they have photos, <clears throat> and uh, and then explore the different projects that are based on Wikidata. Try to learn from the existing uh, examples that I shared with you, the examples that are here. And by, I mean, by practice, you will learn a lot. Is there any questions? Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas de les poser. Je pense que les, les plateformes ici, je sais qu'ils ont bien capté beaucoup de choses. Mais si vous avez bien compris, je dis merci. Et pour English speakers, I don't know if you have any questions. Please ask, ask Kiamen is here to help us. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas. Yeah. Désolé, la dernière partie de... Spark, le code execute, euh, je l'ai fait en anglais, mais euh, en fait, les, les requêtes, c'est en anglais aussi, donc il faut s'inspirer de requêtes existantes. Et euh, en fait, il s'agit, après, il s'agit juste de remplacer des nombres par des euh, par d'autres nombres. Comme l'exemple du musée, enfin, par exemple, donc on a juste, euh, vous avez besoin juste de remplacer le musée par un autre euh, 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 bâtiment. Any other questions? So you can watch this recording. Uh, I will share with Clementine the, this, the slides so you can also uh, check them. <clears throat> and uh, you don't, uh, don't forget to check, to, to check the, the link that I shared in the chat and to, to go to Wikidata's website. There is a lot of information on Wikidata. So here, get involved. You can find a lot of things here. There is tutorials, there is... Uh, For uh, uh, les Français, there is a Wikidata MOOC, uh, Wikidata MOOC, qui a été fait par uh, Wikimedia France. Oui, nous avons quelqu'un qui a une question. Il, oui. Euh, tu, peux, tu peux demander la question. You can go on. You have a question? Okay, thank you so much. Um, you may... So I, I didn't quite get how you created um, a new property for a property that does not already exists on Wikidata. You know, for the Wikidata um, item we created for the uh, climate activist, the family name was not already existing on, um, on Wikidata. How do we create a new okay. um, property in a Wikidata? Okay. OK, on va voir ça. ça, ça va rapidement. Donc, on va ouvrir Wikidata. Donc, on a créé un nouvel élément pour euh, l'activiste tunisien, Ahmed, euh, je vais trouver ici, contribution. Donc, pour celui-là, Ahmed Hajtaïb. Donc, euh, pour ce nom de famille, n'existe pas. Donc, euh, lorsqu'on a essayé, donc on, a, on, a, on a ajouté... Le, on va mettre en français ici. Donc, on a ajouté le prénom, mais lorsqu'on a euh, essayé d'ajouter le nom de famille, nom de famille, on n'a pas trouvé ce nom-là. 
Donc, pour cela, il faut créer un nouvel élément. Donc, euh, un nouvel élément en français, donc le hashtag. Donc, euh, nom de famille. En Tunisie. On va l'écrire. Donc, en cliquant sur créer. Donc, euh, normalement. C'est en train de bugger. Alors, ici. Oui, un nouvel élément. On va voir une nouvelle fenêtre. Parfois, ça bug un peu, donc euh, il faut juste euh, réessayer. Donc, donc ça, nous avons un nouvel élément. Ça, c'est le de switch en français, en fait. Donc, ça, c'est le, le nouveau numéro pour, cette, pour ce nouvel élément. Donc, le hashtag, donc on va ajouter une description, nom de famille. En Tunisie. Euh, en anglais. En Guinée. En Tunisie. Ok. Ensuite, pour la déclaration, donc on va ajouter donc nature de l'élément. C'est un nom de famille. Ok. Donc on a créé un élément, le hashtag. On l'a défini comme étant un nom de famille. Maintenant, si on va, si on revient à, à la page de l'élément de l'activiste, Ahmed hashtag. Ici, donc on va ajouter une déclaration, nom de famille. Donc, le hashtag, maintenant, c'est il existe. Donc, on va publier ça. En fait, les données sont interconnectées. Donc, vous voyez, donc, on a ajouté un nom de famille. Il est utilisé par cette... Donc, ce, ce, cet élément, il se connecte sur... Il pointe sur l'élément nom de famille et le hashtag. Donc, c'est comme ça. C'est des, 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 des liens internes. C'est clair C'est clair, on me l'a dit. Salut Yamen. Euh, malheureusement, le gars qui a posé euh, ma question, il est anglophone, donc euh, mais c'est comme si euh, vous avez dû parler euh, en, en français. C'était en français ou en anglais Bon, <rire> merci quand même. <rire> Donc, uh, je vais le dire en anglais. Donc, si, if we try to add a family name, family name uh, that is not on uh, Wikidata. So, if we try to select a family name that is not on Wikidata, for example, here, let's say, Uh, we this one, for example, this one is not found in Euclid. What we have to do is to create new element for this family name. So we go to create new element, new item, and create new family name. This one, and then once created, we go back to the page and we can use it there. It's okay.
Yes. Okay, thank you. So much. You're welcome. I think that's all for this introduction session for Wikidata. We saw how to create new element. How I mean, we we saw first of all what is Wikidata. What is the, the the definition of Wikidata in a nutshell? What is uh, how it's uh, based on data on numbers, uh, language uh, independent? Uh, how we can create new element? How we can modify an element, an existing element? Uh, how we can uh, generate execute query? Have data? Display this data on a map timeline? So there is a different way to to display the data. And I think that's uh, the beginning. So all you need is just to connect Wikidata, start to creating the new items. Uh, maybe in other session you can see also, for example, if we have min a big number of items to create it, for example, if you have a list of people missing from Wikidata, instead of going by creating them one by one, we can use tools like quick statement or, uh, uh, for example, quick statement, we can upload this data automatically to Wikidata. For example, if you have 1,000 1, people to add, for example, or 1,000 hospitals that are not listed on Wikidata, we can put them in spreadsheet and upload this spreadsheet on Wikidata using quick statement. So this is something that we can see uh, in other sessions. How to do a massive upload on Wikidata instead of creating them manually one by one. On a une autre question de, de Keita. Yes. Je ne sais pas si on peut le donner l'occasion de le donner. Oui, bien sûr, oui. Allô, bonsoir à tous. Donc, bien, ma question, j'ai deux questions. Mm -hmm. Oui, bien sûr. Pour, euh, pour le formateur, la première question est de savoir quelle est vraiment l'importance de de Wikidata pour une personne, par exemple, qui n'a pas un Wikipédia. Et la deuxième question est de savoir quelle est la partie, euh, comment qu'on va utiliser, cest au niveau de, de, de euh, un instant, s'il vous plaît, au niveau de d'occupation, occupation, on met militant climat, c'est ça, ou bien OK. Donc, je vais répondre, en fait. Donc, euh, en fait, pour quelqu'un qui n'a pas Wikipédia, Wikidata peut être euh, le refuge parce que c'est, en fait, c'est plus simple et plus, euh, let's say, funny euh, to, to, pour éditer Wikidata. Donc, euh, c'est plus facile d'ajouter de, 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 nouvelles, de, nouvelles, de nouveaux éléments. Euh, en quelques clics, vous pouvez créer une nouvelle page. Donc, euh, vous pouvez, donc, euh, et ça, tu et tu as le même objectif, en fait. Wikipédia, ça sert à documenter des choses. Wikidata aussi, mais d'une autre façon. Wikipédia, Wikipédia documenté en écrivant des, du texte. Wikidata, en documentant, mais en définissant des, 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 des données. Euh, tu peux faire ça pour ton pays. Par exemple, documenter les écoles, les universités, les hôpitaux, les personnalités de ton pays sur Wikidata. Donc, c'est plus simple que le faire sur Wikidata, sur Wikipédia. Donc, euh, c'est... Euh... Dans ce, après tout, c'est une sorte de contribution aussi donc à ajouter des de, de, de nouvelles données qui vont servir après pour... Euh... Après, ça, tu peux aussi te, se focaliser, te, te, te focaliser sur un projet, donc sur un sujet, par exemple le, le, climat, le climat, ou bien le, le patrimoine, ou bien les, 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 la, 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 la politique, et faire des édits ou bien des, des modifications sur ce sujet-là. Par exemple, la politique, documenter les personnalités politiques, les parlementaires ou bien les, les ministres, tout ça sur Wikidata. Euh, le patrimoine, documenter les musées, tout ce qui est patrimoine mondial dans ton pays. Le climat, par exemple, de, 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 documenter les activistes ou bien les, les, les ONG qui travaillent sur ces sujets-là. Donc, il y a plusieurs sujets à faire. Ça reste, un, ça reste un projet plus accessible que Wikipédia, plus accessible et plus facile que Wikipédia. Et on peut voir l'impact euh, quand on fait des requêtes pour, pour accéder les données. Donc, on peut voir vraiment l'impact de ça. Après, Wikipédia, c'est aussi du passé. En quelque sorte, aussi, c'est un peu du passé parce que le, écrire du texte maintenant, c'est les robots, les robots peuvent faire ça aussi. Même sur, maintenant, tu sais, on, il y a des articles qui sont générés automatiquement du Wikidata. Par exemple, on prend une personnalité, donc le robot, il va faire, en fait, il va lire 
les, les données. Par exemple, si on veut rédiger un article pour cet activiste-là, le robot, il peut faire lire le, le, le nom, Ahmed Hashtay, c'est un, un humain, c'est un, un activiste de Tunisie, euh, donc, euh, qui, qui, euh, qui s'intéresse au climat. Il y a un outil qui s'appelle le Resonator. En fait, il permet de générer des, des articles. Resonator, celui-là. On va trouver l'URL. C'est ça. En fait, il peut prendre, par exemple, un, par exemple oh ben, on va prendre, par exemple, une personnalité. Bon, ça, c'est... Il bon, n'y a pas beaucoup de données, donc, mais on peut essayer avec ça. Donc... Bon, il a généré juste une phrase. Ahmed Hashtayb, il est de Tunisia, climate activist. Au moins, il, il, il a rédigé une phrase à partir de... On va essayer en français. Ahmed Hashtayb est un militant climatique en euh, Tunisie. Donc, ça peut aussi aider à générer des ébauches sur Wikipédia. Par exemple, si on prend une personnalité plus connue, par exemple... Euh, euh, le président tunisien, par exemple, Habib Bourguibar. Donc, celui-là. Donc, il va consulter Wikidata. Il va essayer de coller les, les données afin de créer des, 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 des phrases. Donc, euh, oui, et l'outil, cet outil-là, c'est principalement en anglais, mais il peut aider aussi en français. Mais il y a des, des Wikipédiens qui ont développé aussi des, des, des bots sur Wikipédia qui font des articles en se basant sur Wikidata. Habib Bourguiba était une personnalité politique, donc il y a quelques fautes d'orthographe ici, mais parce que l'outil est principalement anglophone. Personnalité politique et avocat, protectorat français Tunisie. Il, a, il est né le 3 août, il a étudié à l'université, il était président depuis jusqu'à l'an, il a épousé, il est le père d'eux, il est mort le 6 avril. C'est une sorte d'ébauche qu'on peut mettre sur Wikipédia, par exemple, pour, pour des personnalités qui n'ont pas d'article sur Wikipédia. Donc, euh, Wikidata, vraiment, ça va, ça va servir. Ça peut servir, en fait, pour, pour avoir des articles après euh, générés automatiquement sur Wikipédia. Donc, ça sera la base, vraiment, Wikidata, ça sera la base de tous les projets Wikimédia. Uh, no, you don't have this question. I would like to ask if it's necessary to create another account when you have one already on Wikipedia. No, you don't have to. It's the same account, the same account, same password. So you don't have to uh, to create another account. I don't know if there is no any other questions. If there is no, I think if there is no any other addition from Yemen. If you still have some questions, you can uh, also you can send them to to Clementine, and uh, we'll, we can connect to answer these questions later. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming today. Yeah, thank you very much, Yamin, too. You're welcome. This is very, very, thank very. You. And everyone here, thank you to participate. Thank you to, to attend. Thank you. For, thank you for, for your report. Share with you the reports. It 
will help you to get more qualification of what you did you didn't catch very well to now. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much, Amen. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Merci tout le monde. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir.